That is wrong. What actually happened was, hi everyone, my name is Liz. I'm one of the paralegals here at Sang & Associates. And today I will be watching one of Joseph's I-751 affair videos. And I will be giving the insides from when I worked on this case. How does an affair in your marriage lead to a green card? Let's get to it. Woo, let's get started. I love Joseph's intros. They're Hi everyone, the best. my name is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Zan Associates where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. So the legal problem in this case was this Colombian couple got divorced and now needed to file for a 751 waiver. They have no documents, no joint documents, no property. The only thing we had to work with was her story. And she didn't even have That's that good true. of a story because she just, just met the guy not that long ago and then got married and then got the green card and then now got divorced and now needs to It sounds just like a soap opera, you know, everything so and all went once, you know, and then it got married and then it got this and then it got that. Entire got this. relationship. Every scar, every flaw, every imperfection. I love you. I want to say their relationship was about around a year and a half. Um, you know, they got married so quick and then like, you know, it got, things got ugly really bad. And then soon after, within like the first couple of years, like the first year, there was already problems and they were planning to get divorced. Just tell me everything. What did he eat? What did he drink? Everything about their love life. Well, not everything, but you know, I wanted to find out more. This is so true. When Joseph spoke with this client, he does always ask them like, hey, like, how do you compare your love story? Like, what kind of Disney movie? Is it like Cinderella where he finds your glass slipper? Is it like, you know, Jasmine and Aladdin that it's like he takes you and shows you this whole new world. I find it hilarious, but it's really helpful and it helps clients, you know, not get nervous and kind of open up more about their story. And when she was talking, there was just so many emotions that was going through her. And especially when she got to the point where she wanted to divorce him. And I'm like, why? You guys were so in love. You guys were like meant to be. She was still like so happy when she was talking about him. But when she finally said that she found out that he had an affair, mm -hmm. that's when it, it broke. Oh my goodness. I remember when Joseph was talking to the client about this. Oh, my heart was in like pieces. I remember the client when she was living her story again, she was in tears. It was it was very sad. Like you can see it in her eyes that she was destroyed by this. And it's not so much the fact that he cheated. She's been cheated on before. She's admitted that she cheated on several people in the past too. She understands, but at least be honest. And he was not honest. He broke her trust. And it was for seven months that he lied about it. It wasn't until the other girl contacted her about that is wrong him information. That she found out. What actually happened was the client was on Facebook. She was looking through profiles and she did notice a picture of her husband with this girl. And she kind of got thrown off. She was like, wait, she's like, that's my husband. Like, what's going on? She clicks on the picture and bam, like a whole another life comes out, you know, like he is with this girl and they have a child together. It was completely like thrown off. Like I can only imagine that client, what she felt, you know, when she saw that Facebook picture with, you know, him and the girl and a baby, like that is insane. And she said, you can almost forgive anything. And it's even not, it's not even the cheating but it's being dishonest about it. And in any relationship, it's all built on trust. Trust is the most fundamental thing yeah, in that's any very relationship. True. It's not money, it's not, it's not personality, it's not interest, it's not likes or dislikes. It's that fundamental human connection that you can trust the other person because you're sleeping next to them. If you can't trust them, then why are you in this relationship? There weren't any joint documents, which is what officers like to see. There's no kids. There's nothing that binds them together other than a few pictures from Instagram about their life together. But yeah, and this is true. What attorney Joseph said, we didn't have much documents. Her pictures were worth a thousand words. We saw it. Um, the officer could clearly see that, hey, this is an actual love story that just ended in tragedy. And it doesn't mean that, oh, it's fake or fraud, it's just life. There were a lot of documents from the cheating scandal that happened. And so with that, we built up the story. The Colombian client went to the 751 waiver interview, presented her documents, 
and the case got approved. At least she ended a bad relationship early, got a green card out of it, and now hopefully yeah. she's able to be with somebody who truly, truly appreciates her. Yeah. And, and to this to day, we do have communication with the client. It is great seeing the clients grow with our firm. Um, we do see that she is in a happy life together. She did find someone. Her life is just completely different from, you know, um, when we did this case, when we first started on her case, it it's a happy ending. It's like a Disney movie. Are they gonna live happily ever after, Mama? <laughs> Of course, my dear.